One of my favorite western cartridge is the 4440 cartridge loaded with black powder. I had very good results with this cartridge with my 1873 Winchester and my Schofield revolver, but now it is time to test Peder Solis 4440 lightning rifle with a 24 inch octagonal barrel. But before going to the range, let me show you how I reload my cartridges for accuracy. For sizing and decapping the cases, I use a full length three sizing die from Lee. I clean and trim my cases before reloading. I also uniform the primer packet and the flash hole. The size of the flash hole is an important factor in uniform ignition. My projectile is a Lyman 250 grain 429667 bullet. The alloy of the ball is one part tin to 15 parts of pure lead. I size my bullets to 427 to help easy chambering. My lube is the same soft lube I use for my muzzle loading mini A bullets. My powder is the number 2 3F Swiss powder. The press I mostly use to reload my pistol size cartridges is a Lee 4 hole classic to that press. My primers are CCI 300 large pistol primers. I use the Lee on press primer component for priming the cases. It is quick and easy to use. The next step is to expand the case mouth and to charge the case with 30 grains of black powder. I use my homemade volumetric measure for this job. It's not hard to make one from a 44 magnum case. I do not use the bullet sitting die for crimping, just to set the proper cartridge length. You only have to open the mouth of the case a bit, just to help the bullet base enter the brass. According to my experiences, you need a harder crimp for a pedersoli lightning than for the Uberti 44 chambers. I use a factory crimp die for applying the proper crimp. When the cartridge is ready, I wipe off all the grease, so the round will not put unnecessary stress on the action upon firing. The accuracy will highly depend on the consistency of your components and your work. The lightning action and the pedersoli chamber leaves you some space for playing with the cartridge length. Remember, never leave any airspace between the bullet and the powder charge. Ok, so the cartridges are ready, but before going to the range, let's see some history and let's see the technical specifications of this rifle. The Lightning rifles hit the market in 1884, just a few years after Colt made an agreement with Winchester to drop the Colt Burgess lever action rifles from the product line, for Winchester not starting the production of a double action revolver. The rifle was offered in three sizes, in calibers ranging from 30 to 20 to the powerful 5090. The Lightning quickly became a success thanks to its users like any Oakley or Buffalo Bill. The company manufactured nearly 190,000 rifles until 1898. Pedersoli offers the rifle in 357 Magnum, 4440 and 45 long cold calibers with three barrel lengths in standard or premium finish. The lightnings are available with round or octagonal barrels. The stock is made of oiled American walnut. Both the front sight and the rear sight are adjustable horizontally. The rear sight is a traditional buckhorn adjustable vertically as well. The barrel is a broach rifled match grade bore with a rifling twist of one turn in 36 inches. The barrel has six grooves. The hammer has three positions. The first notch is the safety, the second is the full cock. The weight of the trigger pull is around 4.5 pounds. The trigger work is smooth and crisp, set for the cowboy shooting. The Colt Lightning was designed by ingenious engineers like W. H. Elliott, C. J. Abbots and W. B. Franklin. The old design is still capable of firing rounds that are suitable for hunting medium-sized game up to 100 meter distance. The original muzzle velocity of the 200 grain 4440 bullet was around 1300 feet per second when fired from a rifle. My 250 grain bullet is a bit slower, but the minimal velocity deviation is the proof of the quality of my reloading. My bullets leave the bore with 1130 feet per second of muzzle velocity. Good enough for hunting and good enough for target shooting as well. If you are reloading BPCR cartridge for a pistol caliber repeater, you may not want to clean the bore after each shot, as if you did so, you lost the fun of the gun. 
To have a bore accurate for many dozens of shots, you must have a really good bullet that holds enough lubrication to keep your fooling soft. A small ring of unburned grease on the muzzle is the indication of the proper amount of lubrication. Four rounds are loaded and the distance is 50 meters. Four shots at 50 meter, three shots are touching each other, and only one is a bit higher. That's my mistake, it's a flyer. Seeing the accuracy of the pedestal lightning is a great experience, but the real home of the slide action repeater is the plinking or cowboy action shooting. So whenever you want to have fun, place some beer cans or metal poppers to 30 meters and let the rifle do its job. The Pedersoli Lightning Repro is one of the very few Lightning reproduction that actually work. So if you have any doubt, go and check out one of those cowboy action shooting bulletin boards. Those shooters already know the truth about these guns. And if you're looking for a gun for hunting or for top accuracy, you also can rely on the Pedersoli gun.